All right, so here's what I had done. There's a, two different, a few different ways I could have gone here, actually. Uh, one was to uh, not use the circle and just cut out a bar. Uh, but I was kind of concerning myself with balance a little bit. And with it being all the way around, uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more balanced uh, than if it weren't. Because it is going to be turning and pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. So, I figure if I have the room for it, why not do it? Then I noticed, regardless of which one I do, and this is why I ended up more so with this now. Because <coughs> this does have a little wobble on it. And this is going to have this attached to it, which is going to be turning this like such. Regardless if it was just a piece of flat stock, you know, just a piece of square or round, it's going to do the same thing. However, when it comes to this side or that side, that's what's going to happen. So by having it round, it's going to give me a little bit better stability. I cut this off of a piece of PVC uh, piping. It was actually a flange to put two together. So if I put that there, and then put this here, now it's tight all the way around. We don't have to worry about it. So it'll turn evenly. I want it to stay as stable as possible and turn uh, without flopping back and forth as possible, because as much as possible, um, because I don't want to burn out any of the bearings or gears within the motor. So here's what I'm going to do. I just want to buff this up a little bit just to make sure that it's going to be nice and smooth. I'm going to paint this so it'll look a little smoother, a little better, a little better, a little better. Um, and uh, that's what I'm at for now. So I'm going to be right back because I'm going to go over there and do some painting. Now, I don't want the camera to get paint on the lens. Alright, I just don't know if this battery will last that long on this or not. Okay, so over here, let's turn this on for a minute. Maybe that would give me a little, yeah, it helps. So over here, <laughs> yeah. Go back over here again, okay. All right, so meanwhile, this is where the servo, these four holes right there. F, one, two, three, four. This was bolted up in here like that. There's an arm in here that connected to a, another arm that was also plastic. Okay, so this has a gear, well it's cut out as a gear there, there's no real gear, but it's made to be, this side is not. And this snapped onto here, like so. This was screwed onto this. This was up underneath on the gear on this. And attached to this. So when the gear turned, this went this way and it would come back this way. Power on, power off. So that's kind of how all that worked. Now on the transmitter, the, 
the main control. Uh, that has buttons on it, switches actually, that are there to help. Well, they were there to work the ice. There was separate eye controls so you can wink, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so at that point, if you hit one of those buttons on that transceiver, the main piece, the control box, we'll call it control box. If you uh, hit a button, that would send a signal to the main board, which is in the bottom of Coasty, and from there it would trigger a wire or a signal to whatever component that that switch was wired for or hooked up for. Now, because we're working off of a totally different system, let me bring you over here now for a minute. Right here. That's a four channel remote. And it's good for, I think, up to 18 amps. Now, with this being here, with this being on it, connected to it, um, there's a, well, let me show it to you. I'm going to leave it over here, but you'll, you'll kind of get the picture. If you want to freeze frame, you can. Okay. This is the four buttons you need to work this thing. The only reason why you need this is because of the drive. If you want it to go forward, backwards, left, right, whatever, and the speed. So that's what that's for. That's the only thing that's being used on this. These switches do not use any switches. Now I glued all these with, with a uh, CA glue and they're tight. So you're not going to accidentally move any of them. This side, I decided that I didn't want to take a chance with this side because just in case something comes up where you want to add something and you're going to need a switch of some sort, whatever the case may be, let's keep four of them active, or at least usable. These right lid, I can't even tell what that one says anymore, blink, I guess it is, left lid, and sleep. So all these are for the eyes. Well, this switch apparently has been broke free broke free because that used to have glue on it just like these now somebody either when they put it down they put it down and hit it by accident they put it down somebody may have seen it and said oh what are these you know uh, I mean some people were just curious you know and it happens but this switch is the one that was made to work the eyes this button here this button was for the squirt. This button was for one set of lights. This button was for the other sets of lights. So everything worked. So if you hit this button, the eyes would go up. When they're up, you have to hit the button <coughs> to shut it off. So if you don't shut it off, when that bar opens the eyes all the way, it's going to start chattering because it's looking to push more. And what's going to happen is the plastic gear in that little brown plastic piece that I showed you is going to strip. Or you're going to burn out the servo because it can't just keep going like that. So that's why you want to be able to just turn it off. Well, this is not wired per se to the system with a wire. This is transmitting a signal to the main board in Coasty, which is going to try to transmit, because I didn't disconnect any of that in there. It's going to try to transmit to the board that was in here. Right here. And so even though you may turn this one off, this one still has it going. And that's where this is going to end up happening, and we're going to end up with problems. Now, that's just an assumption at this point. I really don't know why it went. It could have just gone because it was tired. Because this thing is, I don't know, 15, 20 years old. 
I don't know when anything was replaced last. I know this is the only coasty left within the whole system. Uh, and uh, apparently this one got lost someplace in the uh, sector of New Haven. So this does belong to the actual Coast Guard. This doesn't belong to the auxiliary. The auxiliary has the use of it. The auxiliary has to take care of it if they're going to use it. Otherwise, the Coast Guard is going to sell it. Hold on, guys. I'm getting some of these out of the way before I end up knocking them off because they don't belong here. There. Okay. So that's the whole thing on how that works. So, like I said, these are temperamental. These are one of those things to where 5 volts, 6 volts, 7, 7.5, and that's about all you want to go with this thing. We had that module over there set for 7.5, tied into Ray's piece that he made, because the original one used to be right here. And it was burnt out for some reason. Who knows why? And like I said, there's been three or four people in this that I've been told, uh, anyway, three or four people have been in it trying to fix it. I, I don't know. Um, and I don't know what their knowledge base is. Sometimes I don't know what my knowledge base is. But anyway, um, you know, I'm sh I, I, I don't know everything. But I've been around a little bit. You know, I, I had a store. Um, I had commercial repeaters. Uh, I worked on commercial radios. I worked on cellular phones. I worked on ham radios, CB radios, alarms, you name it. We worked on them. We fixed them. We repaired them. We sold them. We installed them. All right? And uh, that's like 50 years of doing this stuff. All self-taught, however. I didn't go to school for anything. You know, as far as any electronic school or something like that. Now this, even though it's made by Robotronics, and they call it on their website a robot, it's basically a remote toy that they're getting a lot of money for because one, the marketing, and they also market it as a robot brings the money up. You know, especially if you go back 10, 15, 20 years, uh, and that's basically where it is.